but I don't like Jonathan. But soon you're gonna be, you're gonna give birth and uh, we haven't found the name. The process of learning language begins long before the baby human comes into the world. The fetus experiences all kinds of sensations in the mother's womb. An environment especially rich for the sense of hearing. By 24 weeks, the fetus's inner ear has developed and it can already hear sounds. The sound of the mother's heartbeat and even more than that, the sounds of the outside world. Loudest of all, even louder than the background noise of the uterus, is mother's voice. Over the next few months of gestation, the fetus becomes familiar with the voices of both parents. So you surprised me with that. Yeah, they can. Well, they can make mistakes. And research has shown that the melody and rhythms of their speech make its heart beat faster. This is the beginning of an ongoing communication between the baby human and the outside world. The baby human comes into the world ready to communicate. And in the beginning, the best way is crying. It elicits an immediate response. Crying is an involuntary signal of distress. The baby human can't really make any other sounds yet because they have small mouths, large tongues, and at this age, their larynx is high in the throat to prevent choking. But even though Heather's cries are involuntary, her mother responds. It's Heather's first way of knowing that the sounds she is making are a way of communicating. Much better, eh? And that when she does, there is someone listening. When Heather hears her mother's voice, it immediately soothes her. Research shows that from the first days of life, babies prefer the human voice over every other sound. But what is surprising is just how attuned to language they are. Janet Worker lays 12-hour-old Marissa into a bassinet. She places a pacifier into the newborn's mouth. The pacifier is hooked up to a computer which records the frequency and intensity of the infant's sucking. Dr. Worker and her colleague, Tracy Burns, wanted to know whether only hours after birth, the baby human would prefer her parents' native language to a foreign language she had never heard before. Marissa was born to parents who speak only English. It was the language she heard in the womb. Marissa listens to a tape with two languages, English and Tagalog, a Philippine language. The actual words are filtered out and the languages can only be distinguished by their cadence. Tagalog is played first. When she hears this language she's never heard before, she gives a very weak response. But when she hears English, her parents' language, she reacts completely differently. The intensity and frequency of her sucking shoots up, and then when the tape switches back to Tagalog, her sucking diminishes. This reveals two amazing facts, that baby humans begin to learn the properties of language in the womb, and at birth, they prefer the rhythms of their native language to those of an unfamiliar one. 
doctor said I wasn't going to make it to my due date, so of course you get all excited yeah. and you're anticipating it. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Six-week-old Rebecca turns her head toward the sound of her mother's voice. At this age, Rebecca's time is spent listening and absorbing. She has to make sense of all the sounds she hears. She learns that the clinking of a spoon is different from a cough. And a cough is different from the sound of a bird. In this chaotic world full of noise, from the moment the baby human is born, they have the remarkable ability to distinguish the sounds of speech. This unique vehicle for communication which separates the human species from all other animals. In fact, from the moment the baby human comes into the world, they are equipped with this exceptional capacity. But new research shows that they know something even more extraordinary. Nelson is less than 24 hours old. During his nine months in the womb, he heard his parents communicating in English. As in the previous experiment, the pacifier is hooked up to a computer that registers the frequency and intensity of his response. Dr. Ru Shen Shi's experiment is designed to see if at this early age, the baby human can distinguish between different parts of speech. Nelson listens to a tape which contains two lists of words. In, in, the, the first is a list in, of prepositions in, and articles, words that have no meaning on their in, own, like to, in, yeah. or it. In, in, as Nelson listens, the computer registers his level of response. The second is a list of content words, like nouns and verbs. Toys. Find Parts of speech that convey meaning. Toys. Chair. Find Chew. Chew. When Nelson hears the content words, his level of reaction increases dramatically. Find this study has been repeated with babies in many different languages with the same remarkable results. That even at birth, the baby human is able to distinguish the words that convey meaning over all other words. Toys. Chew. Find. Chair. 